When selecting a position for the trailer and the spreader, choose an open location away from all power lines. Trailers this size have many potential dangers. It's important to have a safe working area, clear of traffic, power lines, and other equipment. Also, make sure you have enough space to safely maneuver your spreader around the trailer. One of the things you'll find on the side of the trailer is a set of instructions explaining safe operation. We'll go through those steps now. Step 1. Open the pouring lids before raising the buckets. Step 2. Unload the buckets in the following order. Bucket number 1, bucket number 4, bucket number 2, and bucket number 3. Unloading the buckets in this order ensures proper weight distribution during the unloading process. Step 3. Start the engine and open to govern speed. Before doing that, open the engine hood and perform the following checks. Check the fuel level to make sure you have a full tank. Check the oil dipstick to make sure you have enough oil in the engine. Make sure the battery cables are securely connected. Check the fluid level in the hydraulic oil reservoir. Once all checks have been made, start the engine by doing the following. Step 1. Pull the choke out. Step 2. Turn the ignition switch on. Step 3. Press the choke in. Once the engine is running, the buckets can be emptied in the order 1, 4, 2, and 3. Before emptying a bucket, always place the T-brace on the bucket being emptied. Here's a good example of what happens when the lids aren't kept closed on the buckets. We've had some rain lately, and it's just been building up. This won't happen when all buckets are properly closed. Step 4. To raise a bucket, pull the lever with the corresponding bucket number. Push the lever in to lower the bucket. Caution! Unless material is flowing freely, do not exceed the vertical position with the bucket until 50% of the material has been removed. This basically means if the fertilizer is stuck or not coming out very easily, don't raise the bucket all the way up until it's at least 50% empty. Step 5. Always leave the engine running when lowering the buckets. And most importantly, remember to close the lids of every bucket once done. If you have any questions about this process or utilizing the Killebrew trailer, please reach out to your Herald sales rep.